Come on, let's praise him together. I want to see you moving. Come on. In the chaos, when I'm far away, I can hear you. I'll never be the same. God, you're calling, calling out my name because you love me. God, you lead me when I've lost my way. You'll never leave me, never let me stray. When I call you, God, you won't delay because you love me. Let's get there. When the world feels like it's shaking, when my heart feels like it's breaking, walking over waves can be hard to do. Take my hand, your hero, Jesus. You're the one who never leaves us. Whatever comes my way, I'm holding on to you. Here we go. Oh 
kids we're gonna take this opportunity to worship Jesus lift your hands let's sing this together I heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like but I Welcome back to Kids Church. If you're watching at home, we love you. We miss you. We can't wait to see you again soon. And if you're watching in church, give me a wave. Love you all. All right, you guys. So we are starting a brand new series. Are you ready for this? This one's called, Oops, I Did It Again. You might know the song reference. You might not, but that's okay. We're going to talk more about it. We're going to teach you what we do when we make mistakes. What do we do when we do the wrong thing? Because you're going to do that. I do it all the time. And so does Mr. Christian, 
and so does Mr. Matthew. You're going to get to talk to them soon, and you might even see Jesus come in this one. So let's get started. We're going to get off to our memory verse first. So everybody up on your feet. Here we go. Hey friends, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Kids Church. We're gonna learn a new dance. Yeah, that's right, from Micah 6-8. Super excited. Guess what? First, we gotta introduce, you know who? That's right, Mr. Beatbox. Help me call him out. You ready? Oh, Mr. Beatbox! Oh, Mr. Beatbox! Feels like this is a, like a like a fresh thing. It is a fresh thing. We got a fresh new dance, fresh new beat. All right, Mr. Beatbox, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I like it. All right, to the side. It's gonna be from Micah six eight. All right, here you go. Five six seven. God has shown me what is good and has told me what He wants. Do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Ha! Nailed oh, it. Oh, so good, All right. dude. Catch you after this. Boom, for real. All right, friends, super excited. Let's learn a new dance. All right, starting from the top, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your left foot first, and you're gonna go like this. On seven, on eight, I'm sorry, on eight, you're gonna go step, up, down. To the top, five, six, seven, step, up, down. Good. A little faster, it looks like this. Five, six, seven, step, up, down. Good. Still with the words. Five, six, seven, God has. Good. Let's do it again. Now the next step is you're gonna take your left foot and step out on show. Got? So it looks like this. Five, six, seven, God has shown. Good. Let's do it together. Five, six, seven, God has shown. Good. Here you go. Five, six, seven, God has shown. Good. Good, good. Now check it out. Next thing you're gonna do, shown me what is good. Got it? You're gonna step out with your right foot and good. Bring it together. Good. And then with your left foot, you're gonna step out and bring it back in. Got it? Let's do that whole first part. Here we go. From the top. Five, six, seven, just the feet. God has shown me what is good and has told me what he wants. Good. Let's do it one more time. Here you go. Five, six, seven. God has told me what is good and has told me what he wants. Come on, one more time. Five, six, seven. God has shown me what is good and has told me what he wants. Good. Now, after once, we go once, we're gonna clap, right? So everybody clap, got it? Let me see it. Ah, it's too easy. All right, come on, let's do it again. Here you go, five from the top, five, six, seven. God has shown me what is good and has told me what he wants. Clap, good. Now, moving on, this is your favorite part. Come on, we're gonna go one, two, three, Four. Yeah, you know it. Let me see you do it. All right, cool. Here we go. We're gonna have two, one, 10 seconds. We're gonna see how, how, how many of you can do this move. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, go. Ha, 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 ha. Good. All right, here we go. Now, you're gonna do it twice. One, two, and you're gonna do it twice, both hands on the bottom. One, two. Good. From here, your left foot is gonna step forward. Drag it back, right foot forward, drag it back. Right, let's do it slow from the clap. Got it? Here we go. Five, six, seven, clap. Do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Ha! All right, cool. We're gonna do that one more time, just like that slow. Then we're gonna do it from the top. Here we go. Five, six, seven, do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Ha! All right, cool. Now, this is it. We're gonna put everything together. Oh, wait, you're right, the hands. Look, check this out. Hands are super easy. I'm gonna go fly by it super fast, and then we're gonna put everything together and call Mr. Beatbox. Ha! All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. Hands. 
With the feet, I'm just gonna throw them in there so you can see them. Here you go, five, six, seven, from the top. God has shown me what he wants. Got it? And has shown me, your running man, what is good, what he wants, sorry, what he wants. Got it? Again, front top. Five, six, seven. God, no hands here, show me what is good. Got it? Running man here and has shown me what he wants. Good. These hands, show mercy, do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly, running man again, with your God, yeah, so your arms are like you're running, every time you step out, it's like you're running, all right, good, I think you got it, let's do it once from the top, and we'll call Mr. Beatbox, you ready, boom, let's do it, five, six, five, six, seven, God, you guys weren't ready, were you, no, you weren't, no, come on, guys, let's pump it up, Ha! Here we go. Five, six, seven. God has shown you what is good and has told you what he wants. God, do justice. Show mercy and walk humbly with your God. Ha! Yeah, you got it. All right, friends. You guys know what time it is. You guys ready? Let's do it. Let's call Mr. Beatbox. Oh, Mr. Beatbox. Oh, Mr. Beatbox. I've been practicing. Dude, they've been practicing. Let's do this together. Boom, let's dance. Come on, let's sit up. I want you to left, I want you to lean right. Right. I want you to add a clap. Ready? All right, here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven. God has shown me what is good. And has told me what he wants. Do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Come on. Let's do it again. Left, right, come on. Five, six, five, six, seven. God has told me what he's good. And has shown me what he wants. Do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. One more time, come on, clap it up. Yeah, five, six, seven. God has told me what is good, and has shown me what he wants. Do justice, show mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Ha! Nailed it. Kinda. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Practice. Get back to us. Hey, Wicked Kids. My name is Mr. Matthew, and I'm here to talk to you about grace. No, not your classmate Grace, but grace. It's a noun, and this is what it means. Unearned assistance given by God. And Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says this. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. That has a lot of confusing words in it, so let me break it down for you. Grace is like getting a gift that we don't deserve. A gift that we can't earn by ourselves through good deeds or bad deeds. Let me give you an example of grace, and then let me show you how it works in our lives. Let's say that you were at a grocery store and you were looking to buy some candy. And as you go to check out of the grocery store line, you realize that you don't have enough money for that candy. And then the next person behind you offers to buy you that candy. On top of it, they give you some additional money for just to have where you could go out and spend freely. That is just like grace. Now, let's look at it from God's perspective. In Romans 3, the Bible says that all of us have messed up and fallen short of God's perfection. That means that all of us will do things from time to time that's bad, and also we do some good things as well. But I have good news, and it's called grace. So as you guys know, and if you don't know, let me tell you that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So we took all of our mistakes, all the things that we couldn't pay for, and he paid for them for us. Kind of like that person in the grocery store when we didn't have enough money. So if you're ever confused about what grace means, just know it's like that person who bought the candy for you in the grocery store when you could not afford it. Now, let's go take a look at some of our other friends and their examples of grace. What's going on, you guys? So how flippin' awesome is Mr. Matthew, or as we say in France, Monsieur Matthew. So he's talking about grace. In fact, we're talking about grace. And 
I think it's only appropriate. Did you know that when, when we're talking about grace and we're really talking about the person of Jesus and the grace of God is like a gift. And that gift being like Matthew said, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son for us, right? Then Jesus is a gift that God gave to us. And the Bible says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So really, if you think about it, the grace of God is really Jesus with us all the time. And that's a pretty cool thing to think about. I actually wonder, what would it look like for Jesus to be with us all the time everywhere we went? Right now, Favorite part of the day, King James. It's in red. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> here, try a little more of that. Mm. Okay. Now, shoot, this is scary. Oh, we can just skip that. Part. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <clears throat> if I do the works on my father, mm -hmm. believe me not. Get it. Yeah. Oh. I gotta go. <clears throat> oh, are we going? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. awkward. <laughs> mm. Yep, that is exactly what it would look like for Jesus to be with us everywhere we go. I guess it's true. God is a lot like Santa Claus. He sees the good, the bad, and the ugly. Anyways, back to grace. Okay, so here we go. Grace is like he said, that person in line behind you that, that pays for your candy and then 
gives more on top of that. That is exactly what Jesus did. That's, that's who Jesus is. Remember that Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, it says that we were saved by grace through faith. So if we're saved by grace, that is like a good explanation of grace, which is, it's one of those difficult uh, things to talk about and, and make it so simple because the grace of God is so far expanding and it's so multifaceted, which basically means it is the simplest thing, but so complex in its entirety, okay? The grace of God is like God's crazy love extended to you guys. The grace of God is what makes the unforgivable forgivable. That's exactly what Jesus did on the cross. The Bible says that Jesus was came, he was full of grace and full of truth. So grace isn't just something that God extended to us. Um, grace is a gift. Jesus embodied the, the entirety of what grace is. So it's really difficult to say, let's say I came up to you and I asked you, hey, yo, bro or sister, hey, what does uh, chocolate taste like? And you're like, oh, chocolate tastes like, <clears throat> you know, it's sweet. And you're like, oh, sweet like an apple. No, it's, it's not sweet like an apple. Okay, but it's like, it's got this like texture to it. Like it's, the chocolate is milky. Oh, so it's like milk. It's not milk, it's not, it's not like milk. Chocolate milk is like milk. So if I were to ask you, uh, if you were trying to ask me what grace is like, I would then ask you, what does chocolate taste like? And you tell me, uh, it's sweet. That's why I'd be like, oh, it's sweet like an apple not sweet like an apple, okay? Then uh, explain it to me further. You'd be like, a chocolate is, uh, you can't do it. How do you explain to someone how delicious and milky and yummy and scrumptious that chocolate is? You can't, it's impossible. What you have to do is you have to give them a piece of chocolate, let them taste it and see that the Lord is good for themselves. And that my friends is exactly how you explain the grace of God. Grace is a gift. Grace is the, 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 the personality and the embodiment of who Jesus is and what he came to do for us. Before we tie this thing up, let me explain it like this. We're looking at the, at the verse, Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, that we were saved by grace through faith. So I think it's only proper that we talk about faith, which we'll get to next week, but grace can be pictured like this. The grace of God is God's hand extended towards humanity. And so anytime you're praying something that, God, I'm asking for this, or God, I pray that you do this. God, you are so good, I thank you for this. How we obtain the things that we pray for is by the grace of God. Because even salvation in and of itself, the very first thing that we receive from God, Jesus Christ himself, was given by grace. So remember, when you're thinking about the grace of God, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That grace, that is God's hand extended towards humanity. Well, I love you guys, and stay tuned because next week we are talking about faith and how grace and faith unite to form a more perfect union in our lives. Well, my friends, this has been Storytime with Christian, and I didn't tell any story, but what I did do is tell you facts, stone cold facts, ladies and gentlemen. And then until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace, love, and grace. Grace be with you. Grace be upon you. Gracious. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen.